They just do not stop coming. I'm just bombing my own base at this point. G'day mates and welcome to Vietnam Combat Operations Tour of Duty Public Release 2021. This is probably the most insane game you will ever see for so many reasons. The least of which is that it includes an auto clicker as a default game mechanic. Pressing tilde engages your auto clicker used to train large numbers of troops. Remember to press tilde again once you are done to stop clicking incessantly. It was this line that convinced me to show you this game, and the reason why I have to show you this game is because we can't even start the game until I've gone through the folder that comes with it. I got an actual press email for this game, and you know, when I saw this, I was like, oh wow, a Vietnam RTS, you know, what is this? And it's not its own game, it's a mod for Tiberian Sun. This game is probably the first RTS I ever played, next to maybe Red Alert on like my PS1. I actually had to go back and confirm that in fact Red Alert was on the PS1. We're not even halfway done. This is an 18 year old project which began in 2003. And here's the thing, it's all free and not for profit. The only thing they ask is that you donate either to Cambodian self-help demining or to anti-personnel landmines detection product development, the guys that use rats to find mines, which is fucking adorable. Separate MP3 files of the Vietnam War era music are included for your enjoyment. Don't worry, I've already opened all of them. Good morning, Vietnam! How about the fact at the end of each mission you get a body count? Americans get to officially report their kills at 1.5 times the actual enemy losses, while North Vietnamese and Viet Cong can report up to three times the actual losses. You can play as the Arvin, as the North Vietnamese, as the Viet Cong, even as the Chinese in one map. As I, God, there is so much stuff. The Khmer Rouge, I think, make a uh, an appearance as well. There is. Just about anything that got involved in the general Indo-Chinese area, they're probably in this game. This game has an intro that I can't show you because, you know, song. There's a- there's a couple of maps. Just a few. Just a- just a few. Oh my god. It's all coming back. Oh, there's a fight going on down here. I can't see him! That's a suspicious looking villager! We got him! Oh yeah, your uh, trucks have to go out and gather rice, by the way. I'll let you guys in on a little secret. The entire reason I made Persist was because I really wanted to do a, uh, a Vietnam campaign. And it's coming. Hanoi Hannah, get off the radio! Mother of God, I built the motor pool and everything unlocked! Oh, there's no way to control which side the AI are playing, so I was actually fighting Americans that time. Alright, that's an easy fix. Let's fight fucking uh, PAVN this time. Wait, what? I have a Kit Carson scout! Nice! I know you from the uh, Sog Prairie Fire campaign. We got it. Yes, Chongsi. We find Bokul VC for sure. I fucking love the words Bokul VC. <laughs> Those words are burned into my brain after Sog Prairie Fire. There is so much shit to build, I've got no idea what I should actually be building here. I am just bombing the shit out of his base. Oh, he's got some SA2s. Oh, there goes one of mine, but the SA2's down as well. Good golly, Miss Molly, there's a full blown attack coming. Well, they just exploded. Wait. Oh my god, my base! Oh. Oh dear. Oh, I've... Oh, I've lost this game, haven't I? <laughs> Welcome back, it's been a few days I've suffered through an earthquake and I plan to actually win this mission this time. So I'm very much aware I will get my shit rocked if I'm not careful, so we need to start off by massively increasing how many supply depots we have, and then just sort of securing lines of defense. I think defense is my best option, actually. No, surely not. A Cobra just lost a fight to a Sampan. You know, as much as I love old RTS, the one thing I will never give up is the new UIs. Holy shit, this UI is dog shit. <laughs> Finally found the things I wanted. There they are, there's the bloody armored cars. Give me more of them. And right, I'm sitting in a Chinook full of guys. I don't know where I'm really gonna send them to, but I wanna do something with them. God, we have so many cloaked units in my back lines. I don't know why that keeps exploding as well. That just keeps happening. Right, here we go, unload the troops. Oh god, we've gone on a zippo raid, we're just burning down the hooch. Oh shit, our dogs are attacking a bunker now. Oh. Oh my god, the dog won! What the fuck? Alright dog, get that camouflage supply truck next. Just a Vietnamese bus driving through the middle of an active firefight. Here goes Operation Rolling Thunder. Yeah, hit the MiG base. Oh, this is gonna suck. Ah, oh, we lost a good jet first, but hit the MiG base, damn it! Yes, baby! Nice! Now the rest of you, target the AA positions. Good. Keep going. 
Hit the mid reavement. Oh, they're rebuilding these bastards. They're not allowed to do that. Oh, I think I think we're nailing the HQ. Yeah, oh no, there it is. Shit, everyone change your target, quick. Once the HQ's down, they can't do anything. Yes! Unfortunately, selling doesn't work. Let's see, can I just bomb my own supply depot? Because I don't need this one anymore. I want it to be further up. Come on, let's try. Oh my god, it works. America bombing their own supply depots. There's something to be said about the uh, military-industrial complex here. <laughs> Creating my own business. Now I have to pay a contractor to build a new one. All right, Operation Rolling Thunder like six at this point. Let's go. Looking beautiful. All right, is there anything still left AA-wise? I don't think so. I think we've nearly... Oh, hang on, there's some at the front. Ah, uh, there's a SAM site. Knock that out. I've just realized that fighting the uh, PAVN feels like fighting the Eldar in bloody Dawn of War. Where did they even get the troops for this counterattack? What the fuck? What the fuck? Where did they get all of these troops from? They just do not stop coming. What the fuck? I'm just bombing my own base at this point. I can't believe I'm gonna- Oh, I just lost the game. I can't believe I've just lost the game. How? What was still producing you? All right, tell you what, I'm done with that map because goddamn, I am gonna play long tan though because I do want to see uh, how the Aussies play. Also, that map looks incredible. What? No, dude, I captured Mama San's pleasure hut. What the fuck? Yes, okay, it's actually PAVN. All right, nice, okay, cool, done. Wow, let's see if I can find, okay, there's the headquarters. Try and remember it, Rumi. It's right next to the road. I'll save that for later. Save the game, okay, save as Actually long turn, here we go. Okay, to summarize what I had to do there, in order to fight the battle long turn, I have to be on the south side, which is random, and I have to be fighting the PAVN, which is also random. So I had to roll the dice until eventually I got the south side so I could get the Aussies who are up here, and also be fighting the PAVN as the Americans. Here's the problem, is that the first time I managed that I forgot to save, and then I drove off and got my only supply truck killed, and then couldn't make any money, and game was over. This map is significantly more hostile than the first map, so I'm gonna have to be very careful as I walk forwards and try and find the bloody, uh... I gotta find my way just across the river to get my first income. Yo! I can make an FSV from the M113 and a Centurion. What the fuck is the FSV? It looks like an APC M113. I thought only the Danish built those. The M113 taking on a T-34 and fucking winning. Honestly, this mission is pretty fascinating to me because I am basically just clawing my way out of debt trying to fight and actually hold them off. And they already have a massive base. My initial plan was to rush them and cut them off at their river because each river, each river, sorry, only has two crossings. But uh, yeah, that plan does not work. This map is so hostile and they have a way bigger army than me. So to start with, I'm going to harvest up this. I'm going to do the best I can to get like a functional army going and secure my side of the river. And then... I think actually, no, I'm going to lock these down real hard first. There's already camouflage bunkers I'm mortaring down here. Then I can expand across and try and seize their side, but that's going to be a little while yet. I want to have a good air force before I do that. Here we go, getting the navy out now. So we've got the light seal support craft, the pibber, and the swift boat. So I've just got an entire company of Anzacs over here. Here we go. Going to send these guys up. Woo! That'll do him. Okay, I'm doing once again a giant airstrike on his base, and then, once I've done that, I'm gonna try and secure the north side with all the Anzacs I've just gotten. Rolling Thunder! Did they hit? I think they hit, they hit! Yeah, come on, keep hitting it! Woo! Beautiful done, nice. Man, I am just abusing his base. Jesus, the VCs are breaking my line, how dare ya? God damn, I don't know what it is about these Dakong guys, but they are fucking incredibly tough! Here we go. Go bomb them, hit them all, come on. No, actually bomb the fuckers, oh my god, please. How are these guys just the most incredible infantry the world has ever seen? Oh, finally! God, there's, there's actually still some alive. I'm gonna send the bloody Anzacs to stop that. It's insane how I've actually lost map control again. I don't know why they get this massive counterattack, but uh, maybe it comes from when I destroy their buildings or something. I don't know. It, it's genuinely impossible to tell where they just get all of these Dakong guys from. But as long as I can keep them on these two paths here, I can actually hold my base this time, which is the important part. 
Those are absolutely lines from um, Radio Commander, aren't they? Gormant One is from uh, the Vietnam Radio Commander. Good game, that. We should have evolved a little bit more, but it was uh, it was a good game. Radio General, I think, was that game taken to a a higher level. Oh fucking hell! I found the hidden tunnel. I just found the fucking tunnel complex. There it is. Bomb that thing, please. Yes. What's this one? Enemy structure? All right, blow it up. Got to get that one too. I fucking found another tunnel complex, please. Oh, there's another tunnel complex. What the fuck was- What? Did I just see a rocket? Like- what? It... Am I getting ICBM'd by the fucking VC? Oh. No, I'm, I'm definitely seeing that. Where the fuck is- Oh, there it is! Man-packed rockets. Oh, we're gonna have to go bomb the shit out of those. What is the fucking range on those? I don't think anything I have is that ranged. How do I tell the range of my stuff, actually? That's a good point. All right, well, they're all dead. Thank fuck. Oh, nope. They were tougher than a couple of bombs. Holy shit. Do I actually have to hunt down every last VC? Player was defeated. Oh! Hey! Oh my god, that took ages. Holy hell. What a bloody battle. Inflate that kill count to 1500. Oh, oh my god. Well, that has been the NAM Vietnam Combat Operations uh, Tour of Duty 2021 Wider War. There we go. Found the last name. Well, it's cool to see and it's free, but man, that could do with some uh, quality of life changes. I do hope they figure out how to let you pick who you'll face or pick which side you'll spawn on or perhaps different ways to end the mission, but uh, this is a 20-year-old game that they're basically uh, putting this on. Actually, hang on. Tiberian Sun is... Mm, scratch that. Tiberian Sun is actually 22 years old now, and this mod is 18 years old. And time passes. Nothing will stop the inevitable march towards the heat death of the universe. I hope you've all had a very fun time watching me play stupid pixel men shoot each other today. Goodbye. <laughs>